Hey guys, good morning. So can you please confirm, am I audible? Yes, yes. Okay, guys. Thank you so much once again. Yeah. So yesterday we started vulnerability management. So we completed about what is the vulnerability management process is about. And first of all, what is vulnerability management? And what is vulnerability assessment? And what is vulnerability threat and risk? And then we started types of scans. So server scan, network scan, port scan, cloud scan, application scan. Uh, this particular, whenever we are referring vulnerability management, most of the case it's a operating system or server scan. Keep that one in mind. Application scan we can discuss later. Okay. And these scans are not only applicable to our internal or on-premise servers related to data center. Uh, these scans we can do for the cloud as well. So like AWS instances, uh, Microsoft virtual machines, Google Cloud Platform virtual machines, or Alibaba virtual machines, all these are cloud service providers. So next one is scanning mechanisms. What is scanning mechanism meaning here? So there are two different types of scanning mechanisms we can do. One is called authenticated scan. Uh, second one is unauthenticated scans. So first one is authenticated scans. Second one is unauthenticated scans. So authenticated meaning here, you know already, what is authentication meaning here? Uh, providing the credentials, username and password, and uh, running the scans is called authenticated. And every server or every system contains different types of, okay, so access or roles. Those access or roles, like our user access, local admin access and admin access, service account access and so on. But whenever if you want to do any scanning related to authenticated, always we have to give admin access. So as, as per rootkit attack, already we discussed about rootkit. That time I said like every server or every system or every application or every database has different types of accounts. Those accounts are user account, service account, local admin and we have admin if it is uh, linux we have root and once again in linux we have sudo account so these are all the accounts but if you want to do server scan okay so which account we have to give or which credentials we have to give always we have to give admin if it is windows machine root if it is a unix machines why we have to give admin only so because admin has a full fledged access and entire access. If we are giving the admin or root level access, we can get the entire information about the libraries or packages or vulnerabilities, whatever it is existing, right? So that is the reason always whenever if you want to do any authenticated scan, we can do even user access, user scans also, service account scans also. But problem here is if we are doing those type of role using scans, it will not give the full pressure vulnerability. It will not do all the loopholes, all the drawbacks, all the disadvantages, or all the problems, whatever it is existing in the server. So that is the reason always we have to give the admin or root level access. What is authenticate scans now? Providing the credentials. Which credentials? If it is Windows machine admin, we can say. If it is Unix, we can say root. And running the server scans is called as authenticated. So providing credentials and running the server scans is called authenticated scans. Unauthenticated scans means what? Unauthentication meaning get without credentials. Without credentials. If we are running these scans, I will show practically all this. Don't worry. With our credentials, if we are running these scans, we can call it as unauthenticated scans. Okay. So that is the difference between scanning authenticated and unauthenticated scans. 
Now dedicated to the server voice scans. Okay. So now vulnerability management means most of the case it's a server scan as I said. So there are two different types of server voice scans. One is a horizontal, second one is vertical. There are two different types of server voice scans. First one is horizontal. <coughs> Second one is vertical. So now what is the difference between these two? Horizontal meaning here, if we are running these scans for multiple IPs or multiple servers against a single port. Meaning here, if I'm running the scans to 10.10.10.1, it's one of the application server, consider. So next one is 10.10.10.2. Consider this example database server 10.10.10.3. Consider this is Windows server. All these servers running against single port. So single port means example I am running against 80. I want to see from for these servers. Either, whether port number 80 is opened or not. Or maybe I want to run one of the scan related to 445. It's a server message block. If I'm opening this port, ransomware attack will come. Right? I want to see whether this port is opened in multiple servers or not. So maybe I want to see whether 3389. So RDP, port number is opened or not. What I'm doing now, I'm taking multiple IPs or multiple servers then running against a single port that is called horizontal. Clear now? For horizontal, running the single multiple port. servers scans against single port is called as horizontal scan. Now horizontal opposite is, what is horizontal opposite? Vertical. Vertical. Now you can tell me what is vertical scan. Opposite to this one. Opposite to horizontal. Uh, running the uh, multiple server scans against multiple servers. No, no, no. Running the single IP. Single IP. Running a single server against multiple multiple ports. Running the single server scan against multiple ports so example how many ports every system contains how many ports every system contains oh, no. zero, zero to 65 so is called as vert vertical scan so this is one of the so very very important into the question from capgemini mindtree lnt unisys ust global infosys Okay, so mainly Capgemini side, they will ask this question. What is the difference between horizontal and vertical scan? So horizontal is for multiple servers. If you are running against a single port, that is called horizontal. Vertical means running the single server against multiple ports. That is called vertical. Okay, so there are different types of, okay, so you don't get confused here and there. Here types of scans and scanning mechanisms, server voice scans. At the time of interview, if you are getting confusion, just you can ask back or expecting the credential point of view or expecting the service point of view or expecting the, okay, so overall category point of view. Because maybe I am in my mind, I am I want to ask what is authenticate scan or what is scanning mechanisms. Maybe you are giving the answer as horizontal vertical. It will go wrong way. You know the answer, but you will give wrong way. Maybe in my mind, types of scans means horizontal vertical. But you are giving the answer as this one, whether it will go wrong or right. Wrong, obviously. In my terminology, I will treat this one as types of scans. But if you are giving the answer types of scans as this one, obviously it is wrong. My expectations are this one, but you are giving the answer as this one. That is the reason. So here and there, 
some confusion will be there we can ask back to the empty river are expecting from the so technology point of view are expecting from the credentials point of view are expecting from the po okay ports point of view or server wise point of view okay so that is about uh, different types of scans next one is a cvss score cvss score this is also another favorite into the question full form is common vulnerability scoring system so common vulnerability scoring system that is called cvss score so every vulnerability has 0 to 10 scale not 100 0 to 10 scale range severity of the vulnerability that is called common vulnerability scoring system every vulnerability has 0 to 10 scale range of the vulnerability score is called as cvss score so meaning here any vulnerability if a we are running the server scan, every vulnerability score, it will lies between 0 to 10 only. Okay. Now, there are three different types of CVSS score versions. There are three different types of CVSS score versions. Those are, first one, CVSS score base 1.0. This is the first version. Second one, <clears throat> CVSS score base 2.0. These are all old and legacy. What is the le latest CVSS score? CVSS score base 3.0. So what is the latest one now? We can use CVSS score base 3.0. So that is the core score we have to consider. Even if it is given any whenever I run in the repo, I mean server scan, if I give me 1.0, 2.0, just you can ignore that score. You can consider only CVSS base 3.0 score only. Okay. Now, this particular range is from 0 to 10. So according to the score, we can define the severity also. Severity of the vulnerabilities. based on CVSS score. So how we can define, okay, severity of the vulnerability. So I, here I can put severity level. This also called risk level. On the right hand side, I'll put CVSS score. So severity levels, security levels and CVSS score. There are five different types of UART levels every vulnerability contains. First one is critical. So what is critical score? Any guess? From 0 to 10, Nine what ten. is the guess? Nine to ten. So you can say 8 to 10. 8 to 10, whenever any vulnerability score is coming in between. So 8 to 10, so we can call it as a critical. Second one is high. So whenever any vulnerability score is coming as a 6 to 8, we can consider as a high. Uh, whenever the score is coming in between, yeah. so 4 to 6, so medium. 4 to 7. Or 4 to 7 or 4 to 6, yeah. Next one is low whenever the score is coming in between two to four uh, we can consider as a low and uh, finally info informational when the score is coming in between zero to two is called as informational so even score will come 7.1 8.1 or 7.5 8.5 9.5 in such a way also not only just to Okay, so decimal number, even we have points also. Okay, so that is severity levels. Every vendor will follow severity. Now coming back to here, vulnerability management patch policy. Whenever any vulnerabilities are generating in the vulnerability report, how to fix it? Okay, fixing will be done by server team. 
verification will be done by vulnerability management nothing but our team so patch policy patch policy meaning in updating of the patches or vulnerabilities updating of the patches or vulnerabilities or issue fixing based on time time wise how many days we have to fix that one we can call patch policy every organization will define the patch policy so what is the patch policy we have to consider if it is a critical vulnerabilities we have to nothing but server team has to fix this server deadlines server team has to fix in 10 working days or 10 business days total how many days all together 10 working days means or 10 business days means how many working days or how many total overall days 20 sir one week okay. sir one week yes sir saturday and sunday leaves yeah two weeks we have to consider right saturday sunday is a holiday so that means one week has a five days another one week has five days all together 7 plus 7 14 days here not and here someone is said 20 it's a r either 10 business days or 10 working days so we have to include okay so weekends as well all together 10 working days is nothing but equals to 14 overall days because we are excluding saturday sunday that is non working days right yeah now high and medium they have to fix server team has to fix in the 30 working days and the low and informational they have to fix in the 90 working days so this is the patch policy in my organization we are following now i have one question whether every organization will follow the same patch policy no no yeah. sir no it will not follow same patch policy it depends with the client and also what or they have defined and what the crit criticality of the business they are working on it depends okay you can see from internet but i am following this patch policy in my organization now so patch yesterday we discussed already patch patch is nothing but piece of software updated file is called patch this patch will be provided to vendor now what is tuesday patch tuesday patch and who will provide these patch updates these patch updates will be provided to vendor if it is microsoft servers microsoft vendor if it's a unix server red hat enterprise and vendor or centos vendor or docker or container vendor and so on so what is tuesday patch this is dedicatedly applicable to only microsoft related servers or microsoft related systems every month second week of tuesday second week of tuesday okay so microsoft will release patches that may be security patches or maybe that may be normal patch updates is called as tuesday patch so that is nothing but monthly once they will update the patches meaning here so next december second week of the tuesday meaning here i am sharing my calendar so which date it will come second tuesday of the december which date which date 12 12 yeah 12th now microsoft will release the patches that particular patch is called tuesday patch this applicable to dedicate to microsoft only so now if you want to fix the patch updates patch management team server team uh, they have to download the patches from the support portal when you say support portal after purchasing the server uh, we have to register in our okay, okay support portal example you are purchasing any mobile or any laptop or any fan we can go and we can register based on serial number so that whenever any issues will come warranty we have warranty we can approach them so example i purchased one of the apple 15 pro and i can go i can register in case any issues will come in the apple 15 pro mobile 
I can whatever warranty period they give in, I can go and I can contact them through online also. So that whatever we are raising a ticket that is called support portal. Same way, if you want to download any patch updates directly, we can download from the server or maybe we can download from the support portal also. So where to download patch updates? Either from server directly or else from support portal where we registered our device. So that is called okay patch where to download patch updates part. Now couple of patch management tools also there. Because do you think that we, yes, one after the other server, they will do the patch updates. If if, we, if our organization contains one lakh servers, one after the other server, we can go and we can do the patch updates or we can do automated way. Manual way we can do the patch updates or automated way? Automated way. Yeah, automated way. For that one, couple of tools are there. Patch management tools are IBM Big Fix. It's one of the very, very popular tool. And also, so we have WUCS, it's applicable to dedicate to Windows, Windows Update Central Server. So next one, we have HP tools are existing. So we, yeah, these are a couple of tools are existing to do even Kaseya. So these are the couple of tools are existing. We can go and we can run the patch updates simultaneously on the servers or all the end systems. These are patch management tools by the way. This one will be handled by server team, not our team. What we are handling is a VM tool, vulnerability management tool. That is different. But just for awareness, I'm giving all these inputs. So next one. So we said like a CVS score is from 0 to 10 scale range. But how this score will define based on what parameter this score is defining by the vendor or tool. Okay. So CVSS score is depending on several parameters. Give me one second guys. One second. All this case, I got off his call. Sorry. Yeah. So CVS score depending on several parameters. Nothing but how the score will be generated. That is meaning by so parameters here. First parameter is confidentiality. Second one is integrity. Third one is what is third one? 
parameters now every tool or every vendor otherwise we can go and we can do the business impact so and according to that one score will be generated and finally so for every vulnerability one of the score will occur in the vulnerability report and according to that one we can go and we can depend the cbrt it will give automatic process back end so that is about how the score will be generated from 0 to 10 scale range based on these parameters so from the attacker point of view or hacking point of view privacy is leaking or data is leaking or someone is adding or updating how attack is entering from the operation point of view so what level of the data exploitation attack will do okay so these are all the ways so it tool will do business impact analysis finally some of the score will be generated so even we have to do some of the manual analysis if tool is giving wrong 